I was expecting Fire Emblem for the Nintendo Switch to release early 2018 because newer style Fire Emblem games, I'm talking about Fire Emblem Awakening, Fire Emblem Fates, and Fire Emblem Echo Shadow of Valentia released in the first half of the year. So the question is, is Fire Emblem Switch big enough for a holiday release? So this is Talk Gamer 007 and today we're going to be discussing if Fire Emblem Switch is big enough for a Q3 or Q4 release of 2018. But before we start this video or this discussion, in the comment section below, I want to know your favorite Fire Emblem characters, so let's get started. Fire Emblem Switch is one of my most anticipated games of the year, but I don't know if Fire Emblem for Nintendo Switch is big enough for a holiday release. The newer style of Fire Emblem games such as Fire Emblem Awakening, Fire Emblem Fates, and Fire Emblem Echoes never released in the holiday season before. Not even the mobile game released in the holiday season. So I could see that Nintendo's, this might be a huge risk for Nintendo. And the only reason I say something like this, even if I'm a huge fan of the Fire Emblem series, it's possible that Fire Emblem for the Nintendo Switch might release near the two juggernauts or Pokemon and the rumored Super Smash Bros for the Nintendo Switch. The king of Nintendo handheld games and the king of Nintendo console games potentially releasing in the same holiday. How do Fire Emblem Switch fit in the equation? How do Fire Emblem Switch fit in the puzzle? Because how can Nintendo make all these three games release in the holiday season and make all of them successful? Let's say all of them. Let's say that most likely Smash Bros. will sell a lot of copies and it's most likely that Pokemon will like blow up the system, right? But how do Fire Emblem fit in? And it's possible. The only reason I think that Nintendo will re risk releasing Fire Emblem for Nintendo Switch near these two juggernauts if they have faith in the, the Fire Emblem brand. It's almost like they believe in this brand almost as big as Pokemon because of Fire Emblem Heroes. Remember Pokemon Go and how the Pokemon series basically blown up and everyone was going to the streets and going to Central Park and catching a, a, a Dratini or something, right? So it's possible that Nintendo released these mobile games to like be a catalyst to like make the series more popular, like make the outside people that never get got into the series or did get in the series or leave the series to move back into the series or buy this, the, the console releases and buy Nintendo Switch just to play these releases that they played, the, like the simpler version on their smartphone. So it's possible that Nintendo planned this from the beginning and so many people played Fire Emblem Heroes and it's possible that the Pokemon Go effect might happen to Fire Emblem because after Pokemon Go released and Pokemon Ultra Sun, not even Ultra Sun, Pokemon Sun and Moon release that same holiday season after Pokemon Go release and that blew up. It was like one of the biggest Pokemon releases of all time. And other than Pokemon Red and Blue, of course, but it was huge and a lot of people bought the 3DS for Pokemon Sun and Moon. And because of, and that's the main reason why I believe that Fire Emblem might copy this because now Fire Emblem shown that it, Fire Emblem could sell millions of copies. Fire Emblem could be as big as Pokemon. As big as Pokemon. Not big. Bigger than Pokemon. As big. So it's possible that Fire Emblem Heroes just... So many people that, that played Fire Emblem Heroes might move over to buy a Nintendo Switch for Fire Emblem, right? And I seen this in action because I have a friend that only knew about Fire Emblem because of Super Smash Bros and Marth and, and Roy. No one really knew about them. You have to like research this because Fire Emblem wasn't big at the time or around that time, right? And he played the mobile game and he realized how great the Fire Emblem series is and he didn't even start with the latest Fire Emblem game like Awakening and stuff like that, the newer ones. He started said, I need to know how good the series is. He didn't want to play with the, S the NES and SNES Fire Emblem games. He wanted to play something more um, newer, but not the newest one. So he started with Fire Emblem 7 
and he went down. He started playing his very Fire Emblem 7. He told me his favorite was Fire Emblem 8, and he's going down and down, and he's making his way to the latest um, release of Fire Emblem games. So, Nintendo probably hoped that Fire Emblem become the next juggernaut like these two kings. But, in my opinion, I would love if Nintendo uh, follow Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle and show the game at E3 and market the game like crazy. Show it on every YouTube channel. Show trailers, ads everywhere. And release it at the end of August. And I believe that's possible. I know that might be a little crazy but nintendo have the power if ubisoft could market the game like crazy in two months nintendo could do that they re they announced fire emblem now they just have to show the game like how zelda is like show that huge thing at e3 make booths of it and and theme it around fire emblem i doubt they do that because pokemon might be releasing this year they just they probably put it as a viridian force or something or something like that but it's it would be amazing if Nintendo just did that. But I would love this, in my opinion, because I don't know if I could play, like, these huge RPGs that's going to be releasing in fall. And we don't really know the release dates, like Fire Emblem, Pokemon, even Kingdom Hearts 3, The World Ends With You, Final Remix, Project Octopath, and even Dragon Quest XI, my most anticipated, one of my most anticipated RPGs. Uh, other than Kingdom Hearts 3. That's huge for me. And and that's going to be released on Nintendo Switch. And every game I just said is going to release on Nintendo Switch except Kingdom Hearts 3. And I don't even know if I could play all of these games. This is why I would love that they could spread out the games. Spread out these JRPG releases. I would love if like The World Ends With You release early. Early 2018. And then the Project Octopath Traveler release like in, in June or... And then probably Fire Emblem release in August. I would love that, but I doubt that's going to happen. It's just going to release all at the same time. Especially Dragon Quest XI. Where's the marketing for that? Anyway. So at the end of August would be the perfect time to release a game for me. But before the storm of fall 2018, like I said before. Knowing the new Nintendo, Risk is their new middle name.